<laughs> Under a Northern Sky is an exhibition which brings together close to 70 years of James Morrison's painting practice. The majority of the work is from the last 20 or so years of his life when he was most famous for capturing the sweeping grand landscapes of Assent and Angus. But also included in the exhibition are very, very early works, rare works from the 1950s and 60s including these two magnificent examples which are just behind me. On my right we have this dramatic, dark tenement scene from Glasgow uh, from the early 1960s, painted at the same time when John Eardley was, was capturing the decaying architecture and working class lives of, of the Glasgow population. We also have this stark and striking copse of trees, both paintings typical of his early style, far more expressive uh, in their application of paint and in, in their gestural quality, but also in, in, in their you know, immediate drama. Here we have the stark trees captured against the grey northern sky, which and the, it's the pattern, it's the crisscross of shadow uh, um, which, which uh, James is, is, is drawn to in this scene. The, the handling of the paint, expressive, um, the details of the landscape ca captured um, uh, with, with sweeping gestures. He's giving us the idea of what's beyond, but not actually capturing exactly what it is as for us to decipher. But the, the painting here is James Morrison really firing on all, on all the cylinders. We have this landscape from painted in uh, February uh, 1990. It's the, the winter fields. We've we've gone from a close picture plane into this wonderful sweep of distance, and the um, this the lovely gnarled uh, path leading us towards the the distance trees, rendered beautifully in wonderful detail uh, in the mid distance, and, and again towards the, the Grampian Hills beyond. And in, in this painting, we have a sense of wonder in the landscape, a sense of capturing the moment on, on a particular day. But again, there are similarities, there are interests in, in, in the natural uh, the natural cycles of, of, of the world, the, the natural lay of the land and the rhythms and forms um, um, creating patterns uh, in, in the landscape, which he is harnessing for his poetic means. Morrison can now be seen as, as one of Britain's finest landscape painters and at the core of his practice is a deep engagement, a deep love of the natural world and its natural cycles. This painting will be painted on the south side of the Montrose Basin, looking north towards the Grampian Hills and the Angus Glens and the Cairngorms. And like a mountaineer, like a surfer, Morrison used to check the weather forecast the day before he set out to paint. And that allowed him, through his knowledge, to choose a particular place, a particular direction with which to set up his easel because he knew the building clouds, the, the, the moving light would allow him access to some of the wonderful skies which he is most famous for. And one of the, the most magical things about Morrison is, are the towering clouds which come towards the viewer and up over your head. And here we have a wonderful example here.